Welcome to United on Zip. With me, Ian Smith, trying out my new way of sitting down. It's all right, isn't it? Get off. It feels unstable. Why are you on it? I'm trying a new way of sitting down, mate. You don't listen. Oh my God, it's not easy to get down. There we go. Oh, you're on my lap. There we go. Did Michael Carrick wave? No, Michael Carrick didn't wave, but don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Come on, Carrick! We're going to ask him to wave again because he's injured and now he's not got much to do. So we think he'll almost definitely be waving. We're going to give him another go. Unless right. you've injured your wrists, mate. Mm -hmm. Get your it's, wave on. It's a reload. Please. So, Michael Carrick, keep your tweets going in. Send them to him. It's Kara16. That's how it works. Just send him those waves. Kara16, give us a wave. Kara16, give us a wave. And I think it'll be a great achievement if we can get Michael Carrick waving. And I think we can. It's such a boss in the midfield. I know. I think he'd add some stability to our He's crazy, crazy side at the minute. He's got a nice beard. You've got a beard. Say, thank you, mate. Yeah. Oh, you didn't say a nice beard. You just said you've got a beard. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, right, let's start with some club news now. Some breaking news from the Mirror here. Uh, if you don't know who the Mirror are, they're... Um, Ian, how would you best describe the Mirror? Um, you look in it, no, it sort of reflects... The newspaper. What you... The newspaper. Okay. Um, you look in it and it sort of reflects what you think if what you think is stupid. That makes more sense, yeah. Uh, so, breaking news that Cameron Borthwick Jackson drives a Vauxhall Corsa. What? If you're somewhere else in Europe, Vauxhall is Opal. It's an Opal Corsa in Europe. In England, it's a Vauxhall. I don't know why. Um, Driving and yeah. Why is that in the news, mate? I don't know. They open their story like, oh, we're all used to seeing Memphis Depay turning up in his quarter of a million pound um, Rolls, Rolls Royce. Rice. But look at Cameron Borthwick Jackson keeping his feet on the ground. He's not keeping his feet on the ground because he's in a car. No. Uh, driving his Vauxhall Corsa. I'd be more impressed if he was keeping his feet on the ground. It would have to be like a Flintstones car. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know Rolls why. Rolls Royce. What did you think of Memphis's Rolls Royce? Look, mate, if I had that kind of. If you, if you had loads of money, wouldn't you have some fun? He's like 21. He's 20. Just... Yeah, but he's having fun, man. He's buying a Rolls Royce. Looking like. Who's that? Batman. Who's that one from the Thunderbirds? It's Batman. Batman's not in the Thunderbirds. Man. No, but it's like a Batmobile. It's all it's all like matte black. And I like that doesn't make it like a Batmobile, mate. Look, it's a Rolls Royce. He drives it around. The Batmobile was just a Rolls Royce. You wouldn't be scared of him. He's probably got a Dutch accent. So what? Says, I'm Batman. I don't know if that... I, I imagine that's how he drives around. Oh, my God. I, imagine that's what I don't does. like that Dutch like accent Memphis. at all. Memphis. Talking about Dutch accents, uh, Ronaldo has been in the news yes. recently. Yeah, he has. Um... And there's, you know, a good link here, because we're professionals, number seven, number seven. Cristiano Ronaldo number said seven. he was petrified when Sir Alex Ferguson asked him to wear the number seven jersey. He wanted to wear the number 28, which was his personal lucky number. Interestingly, this isn't new information. I'm sure most of you already know this. I definitely already knew this. Uh, but the Daily Mail are reporting it like, yes, Brand we've new got news. new information. Here's a new story. You definitely didn't know this, um, as, uh, but we did know it. Um, but it has given the Daily Mail the opportunity to put Ronaldo and Manchester United in a headline um, to create what we like to call clickbait. Yeah. So that's also, that. Gary Lineker's having a divorce from his wife. That's not on the notes, so, is it? Yeah, but you know, the Daily Mail, that's their main story at the minute. Because remember, kids, that is the most important thing happening in the world today. Talking about most important things, FA Cup. We're through with the fourth round. And we're going to be playing the titans of the championship. Yes. Der Derby. Derby? Derby. Derby. Mm. D-E-R-B-Y? Yeah, like Derby. 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 Mm. So we'll be playing Derby in the fourth round. What do you think of that as a draw, mate? Uh, do you know, whilst on the Daily Mail, I saw a headline going, United get tough away day at Derby. And you think, what is happening Der in the world? Sorry, mate. When Derby. Derby. A Manchester United team is, it's called a tough away. Or it's just going to be nil-nil probably, isn't it? Or maybe it'll be like Newcastle and it'll be 3-3. Three, three. We can't three, score three. and not concede, but we can't score. We can't not concede. and It's just always a draw with us, is my... Watching that Newcastle game, goes to a draw, I'm like, oh my God, I don't believe this. We get another goal, I'm like, yeah, Manchester United are bold. Yeah, we've conceded, but we're going to get right back at you because we're always going to score. And yeah. then you just, by the end, you're just like, oh, sweet Lord. I enjoyed it. It was an exciting game of football for once. Uh, now I'm glad you enjoyed a draw, mate. <laughs> Ian, commercial seal news. That's the only thing that is going to cheer me up this week. 
I'm going to go on the old telephone because I've got all the information here of this new commercial seal. I've taken photos of it and I'm going to have it as my desktop background yeah, because we have signed a deal. We've seen the sports in China! Is that like John Cena? Is that like John Cena, mate? No, it isn't. Have a bit of respect, please, for Cena Sports. S-I-N-A, not John Cena. Oh, nice it's a multi-year partnership with China's leading digital sports media platform. First time club's dedicated channel will be available to fans in China. Manchester United has today announced a groundbreaking deal with Cena Sports, the number one blah blah blah, yeah, we already said that. Mm. Dedicated 24 hour yeah. Manchester United channel. That means you don't need to watch anything else ever. Well, what about us? Oh my God. Hang on. What do you mean what about us? What about Full Time Devils? What about Full Time Devils? You just it, don't watch anything else. nothing about us. No, but... You... Oh, God, don't mate. I made a mistake. Now. Delete that bit. I'm just saying people in China who maybe don't have YouTube because the government doesn't let them have some stuff, does it? It well, doesn't let them have Google. It doesn't. If you're Chinese and you're watching this, do you have Google? Do you have YouTube? Um, if, if, you, if you're not watching this and you're Chinese, let us know because maybe that means you don't have YouTube. I don't know how to find this out, but basically... Another commercial seal. Hopefully, Ed Woodward will get some mm. transfer seals as well. Yeah, that is the dream. Uh, now, let's look at Lou Van Howe's passive aggressive clip of the week. Why do you think uh, the team moved the ball too slowly? What do you think? Um, I don't know. <laughs> That'll happen. That'll happen. Oh my. That'll happen when you're in God. the room with that man. He has got a he's got a lot of reasons to be passive aggressive at the minute. Well, he has. He's boring. Well, I'm boring. Boring player. Six goal thriller, some would say. Well, you listen, mate. You keep banging on about. Oh, what an exciting game, three all. Mm. We mm. still conceded three and didn't win, mate. Yes, but wasn't that more fun to watch than the one 0 win against Sheffield United, which ultimately we got more for by the end. But wasn't it more fun watching the Newcastle game? Yes it, yes, it was more fun, yes. mate. But it, what do you? It? What would you prefer? A boring one well, victory or a three-three? I'd rather won three-two and held We'd out. We'd all rather we won three-two, mate. At least, I, <laughs> is at least there was some. Your body went through some emotions that weren't just raw frustration for ninety minutes until we got a penalty, and then you almost thought, well, is it even worth it anymore? What have we? Sheffield United haven't really done a lot, and we've done less. That's what's happened. Also, mate, quick question. Go on. Was it was it a penalty when Chris Small and that other guy were just wrestling? I think so. I'll tell okay. you why. Because it was a 50-50 wrestle, but only one of them had motivation to wrestle. Uh, and that was the Newcastle guy thinking, let go of me, I want to try and score this corner. Chris Morgan's motivation was, no, I won't. I don't want you to score this corner. Okay, mate. We um, see where so your loyalties lie. No, we're very much Bloody a Manchester Newcastle United. fan. Don't wrestle players in the box. It's, just do this. Back away. We don't back away too much, then you might score. Uh, right, let's do don't social listen media. listen to his advice today. Social media. Social media. Wayne Rooney has tweeted something really weird. Um, I can only assume he was paid for it. This is, because you see it? It's on screen. Ian, any thoughts on this? I just think it's weird, mate. What is it weird? He's, he's coming out of a Star Wars team and he's put Juan Matter in it. Obviously he put Matter in it. But why is he, what's a Star, Star Wars team? Star Wars team? This is, is weird. I wonder what they paid him. What is a Star Wars team? He's got his own commercial seal, that's what he's got. Good on he's you, Wayne Rooney. Really? Uh, now, more on Wayne Rooney, who has been giving his congratulations to Lionel Messi after winning his fifth Ballon d'Or. Um, and then it says here, do you, do you think that makes him reflect on his career, the fact that he's not won any Ballon d'Ors? I don't know, mate. There's probably a couple of seasons where he would have been up there with a chance of playing well, but he just I don't think he's like Ronaldo. Ronaldo would go in the gym I just want to be fit, I want to be the best I can. I think yeah. Rooney's just like, yeah, I'm naturally absolutely amazing. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, it does seem to be. That is probably fair. Uh, now, Ander Herrera was disappointed because he wants to kill the game. What? Says we should have killed the game. What does he mean? Well, he means, I think he means like killed the game off. I.e., in the earlier stages. Well, like, sort of 60 minutes in, just no, postpone no, no, no. it, just quit it and be like, no, let's, come on, let's leave. No, just start passing the ball sideways, holding possession, not taking any risks and just sitting on that result. I think that's what he means. And just cutting all the chances out of the game. Well, I'm glad you've done a status about it. Why didn't we do it on the pitch? Holy mother of Malcolm. Right. Do you know what, Ian? Yes, mate. That's it. Thank you very much. Zip.